What's up guys, it's your boy Hero, and today I want to ask you guys a question. What the fuck is up with MMOs? I remember when I first played my very first MMO when I was just a little boy, it was Maple Story. I remember logging on to that game and having the time of my life. And then shortly logging out and uninstalling the game and reinstalling a much, much, much better game, Ragnarok Online. And playing that game, because it was just... Yeah, that 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 was just that was the shit. But seriously, back then there was always something to look forward to when it came to MMOs. After Ragnarok, there was Mabinogi. After Mabinogi, there was Mabinogi Heroes, which became Vindictus. After Vindictus, there was Dragon Nest. After Dragon Nest, there was Terra. And after Terra, there was Blade and Soul. And after Blade and Soul, there was Black Desert. There was always a better MMO around the corner for me to look forward to, and a lot of us to look forward to. That was just so amazing and so just just look so fucking good that you just had to play it. You just had to be excited for it. And ever since Black Desert's come out, to be honest, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a single MMO that even comes close to being exciting for me. And I'm not just saying that because Black Desert has spoiled me. I mean, I'm sure Black Desert has spoiled me in some regard. But seriously, there's literally no MMOs coming out that look like they have any ounce of effort put into them or creative juices or inspiration or just anything. And if they do, like Perio Chronicles, they're just completely lost. Like, where is that game? I don't even know where it is. What do you guys know where it is? What what is this game? I don't even know. But that's the only game that I can think of that even looks remotely interesting when it comes to MMOs. And with these MMOs branching off into being more mobile, like all of them, it's just, it's kind of scary. I'm, I'm kind of wondering where this market is going and what's going on. Like, what's up with MMOs? My theory is that MMOs just aren't that successful or they aren't that fruitful. They aren't worth going for to developers. I mean, think about it. When was the last time there was a fully developed Western MMO, Wildstar? And that completely bombed. The only one that really works anymore is World of Warcraft. I suppose you could argue Gear War 2 is still around there, but seriously, no one's hitting World of Warcraft's numbers in the Western markets, and the Eastern markets are the pretty much the same. All the older MMOs are sticking around, but the new ones just get shafted right away. Even Black Desert, which is one of the best MMOs to come out in recent times, just doesn't seem to hit the numbers that you'd expect a game of that caliber to be able to do. And while Black Desert is doing pretty well over here in the Western territories, it still leaves much to be desire desired when you compare it to certain other games. So my theory is that people just don't have the time to play MMOs anymore. And maybe that's what it is. People just don't have the time. The only MMO that I know of that's been released within the recent times that has been extremely successful and continues to raise in successfulness over the years is Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV was led by a genius man named Yoshi P. Shout out to Yoshi P. He's a fucking genius. And this guy created pretty much a precedent that MMOs have to understand a balance. There has to be a balance when you're making MMO. A balance between the hardcore player and the casual player and never disrespecting either side and keeping them both satisfied. That's something that Yoshi P in all of his amazingness was able to figure out but a lot of other MMO developers just simply cannot do and I think that's really what it comes down to people don't have time to play these games but they still want to have fun and they still want to play these games and the hardcore players want to be rewarded for playing more than other players and that's where the problems lie it's very hard to balance things things these kind of things out Final Fantasy 14 was able to do it but only after they damn near got destroyed the first time. Other games don't really have the leisure of being fucking destroyed and then rebuilt, so you can't really hold that against them. So what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that I'm scared for MMOs. I really don't see the market getting any better for these games. Black Desert being pretty much the only MMO that's out at all that has any kind of inspiration, except for Perio Chronicles, man. Yeah. 
and no other games coming out anytime soon that are mmos that look to be even close to the quality of black desert it's just like eh, i don't i just don't know man I, I just feel like mmos are completely dying out at this point and they have been for a while but now i think it's really starting to hit the fucking rails but alas there is hope we do have ashes of creation <laughs>